Certain medical conditions call for the input of several doctors to determine what is wrong and what treatment is necessary. That's particularly true about thoracic cancers, ones that occur in the chest cavity. As Doug Johnson explains, doctors at Baptist are taking a team approach to keep their patients well beyond the diagnosis. It's Wednesday morning and time for the multidisciplinary thoracic clinic to meet at Baptist Hospital Memphis. According to the doctor who organized the group, bringing the right team of specialists together can improve treatment. Providing care for patients with lung cancer especially, but really patients who have tumors in their chest cavity um, is very complicated. Dr. O, oh, as he's called around the hospital, says the group discusses, examines, and makes recommendations for care, something he believes is especially important for thoracic cancers, cancers that occur not only in the chest cavity and lungs, but also in the head, neck, or throat. It is, unfortunately, still the, the single largest cause of cancer-related death in the United States, and indeed worldwide. According to Oso Rajiavan, no doctor has complete control in lung cancer treatment. That's why cases are discussed by a wide range of specialists during the meeting. Oncologists, surgeons, radiologists, pulmonologists, and others take part. What it is is a group clinic where the key specialty doctors involved in providing care for patients who have cancers involved in the chest cavity come together uh, up front early in the process of care. The process allows the group to review each case and agree on an approach together rather than basing treatment depending on a particular doctor's area of specialty. The group approach allows them to know more about what they're dealing with, first to determine whether a patient has cancer, and then to measure whether the cancer has spread. And rather than making the patient hop, skip, and jump from doctor to doctor, clinic to clinic, hospital to hospital, test to test, that we actually bring the, these key actors up front together as a group, and then have the patient meet them ideally on the same day at the same time. When a patient comes in, like this morning's patient who came in from Forest City, Arkansas, several doctors will take part in assessing the patient. If additional tests, scans, x-rays, or biopsies are needed, they can often be scheduled for the same day. One clear tangible benefit of this is that you dramatically reduce the amount of time it takes for a, an individual patient to get to the point of definitive treatment. Another benefit of the multidisciplinary approach is that patients are integrated into the decision-making process, allowing them more of a voice in their own care. For Smart Medicine, I'm Doug Johnson.